occasion. I, I stay ready because destiny impatient. Changes. I've been seeing changes. You played well enough in the scrimmage to earn an invite to the NBA Draft Combine. This is a huge opportunity for you, but it comes with some risk. A solid showing will raise your stock, but you don't have the big-name pedigree to overcome a flop. You don't want to mess this up, so you hit up your Uncle Kyle for advice. He's the only person close to you who has insight into the draft process. Kyle never made it in the league, but he played overseas for a decade and knows what it takes to be a professional athlete. He flies out to Chicago and lives with you during the lead-up to the Combine. He trains with you and keeps you focused on the task at hand. He's a huge help. Now it's the day before the Combine, and your agent wants to introduce you to some NBA connections who are in town for the weekend. There are deals to be made, but you've got to shake some hands to make them happen. Your uncle thinks you should get in one last practice instead. He doesn't want you to leave anything to chance. You trust both of these guys and can see where they're coming from. But you only have time to do one thing, practice or make connections. What do you want to do? Giving up without trying before they close the curtain.
Your agent thinks you've done enough at the Combine to secure a good draft spot. He tells you that if you stay, you could see your stock drop. Better to quit while you're ahead. Your Uncle Kyle thinks you have more in you. He's trained with you and he believes you haven't shown your best self yet. He wants you to keep participating in the drills so you can elevate your stock. On one hand, your agent has connections. He has insight into what front offices are thinking. But on the other hand, your uncle knows your game better than anyone. Does he see something your agent doesn't? Now it's up to you. Do you keep doing drills at the Combine, or do you call it a day?